It's right here. I can grab him? Of course. Oh, this yeah. is one of the rare total on Earth. Look Probably at that. top 25 most endangered total. Wow. Oh, wow. That's a really different texture compared to normal iguana. I tell people it feels like my like like suede. Yeah, it does. Wow. How many species <laughs> of animals do you know that you have here? We're, I think about 250 now. Wow. Yeah, okay. which is the world record. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video today. As you can see, birds exotics of the world and myself, we're here at... Iguana land. We haven't been in Iguana land for a while. The last time I was here was three years ago. It was absolute blast here. We're gonna do a full entire tour of the whole entire place. The place is completely done. You guys definitely gotta come here and check it out. Pretty much every reptile's here. It's insane. And it's in Florida. So let's go see all these animals and have some fun. So right when we turn the corner, you come over here and you just get hit with all different types of reptiles. I mean, right off the back, you have all different types of species everywhere. Right here, you got these massive, massive, massive enclosures. I always say to people that the monitor enclosures should be massive and I mean, this is the proof right here. We got Ty right hey here. Hey everyone. What's up, Ty? Not too much, man. Got Another day. Hard. Got a giant croc monitor. All kinds of really, really cool stuff everywhere. And Ty's gonna show us around some of the animals too. Yeah, this is basically inside where when it's cold, they go inside. Yeah, exactly, a lockout. Yeah. Really neat. So if they can stay nice and warm there. When it's cold out, they got big giant ponds, all sorts Through. of stuff. Oh wow, look at that guy. For a water monitor. That one's beautiful. These are massive enclosures. Yeah, and we should have a gold monitor here, but. Uh, oh, she's right here, I think. Right yeah, right there. Another one right there, right? That's it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, yep. Right Staying there, nice right and there. warm. Yeah. That's neat. And my favorite is the turtles and tortoise section. Yeah. So many you got over there. Yeah. You got a lot of turtles over there. Yeah. Yep. So we have yep. to go check all that out. We have a lot to see today. A lot to see. And Ty has projects to do even more stuff. Huh? What's up? What we got? Just an egg. Oh, yeah. Egg the egg yolk. This is breakfast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, eggs, man. She didn't lay in the good spot. That is, yeah. yeah, that is just weird. We just collected a real nice clutch, too. Yeah. But you got, I'm sure there's just a full time crew just to collect animal babies. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> there's just so many. How many species of animals do you know that you have here? We're, I think about 250 now. Wow. Yeah, okay. which is the world record. Uh, world record. Species. Because before that, it was 225. Yeah. Reptile jungle uh -huh. in South Dakota, they've been around for like 80 years. Wow. Right? Yeah, so we just surpassed them last year. Oh, wow. We're probably in probably a couple of years when they come back. Yeah. We're probably at about 400. Wow. <laughs> that's going to be, that's, that's insane. Okay, so if you want to see every single reptile in one spot, you got to come to Iguana Land. So right now we're going down the turtle and tortoises area. And I mean, it's just rows after rows after rows of every different species. I mean, just different species of everything with their own different types of enclosure. And then as you can see as well, Aquascape was here as well. And there's just one, two, three, as many as you could count of beautiful enclosures for all the animals. You can't even see the animals. Why? Because that's a good enclosure. If you can't see the animals, they're happy. It's a perfect habitat for some of the species around here. Yeah, and I mean, it just looks awesome. Definitely would like to do this in some of my enclosures at home too. A couple of my favorite animals, like probably the Colombian blue eyes. I would love to have an enclosure like this one. But every pond is built different. Why? Because it's not a pattern. It's just art. It's all art. There's a grand dish right there. All kinds of stuff. I mean, it just goes rows after rows. And then you come on this side. Even more rows. Crazy. Running fresh water all day long. I'm sure the water's probably like 72, 75 degrees. So the water's perfect for all of them. Even though some of them like the cooler water. But it's just crazy. Look at this. It's just so many species. I, I know a lot of species, but I think just turtles alone. I think there's like over like 300. It's crazy. Yeah. Look, you don't see anything. <laughs> but it's just because that's how they are. But we're gonna go in and check out some of the really cool things right now. We got different species we were just talking in every single one. Yeah, exactly. Of course, some of these you just kind of have to look. You yeah, know? you have to look inside of them. They hide good. Yeah, but this is a good enclosure for them to be happy. Exactly. We build cages for the animals. Correct. Not for people, per no, se. No, right? of course not. Yeah. Here's one right here. I got one right here. Yeah. There we go. What is this? Oh, Chinese box turtle. You got it. Look at that. We got them as a tiny baby oh yeah and now yeah i think they're about four or five years old now oh wow and they'll go into the dirt too yeah, they'll hide all exactly. into the dirt yep and this is what typically you you see them in the wild actually you could see right here the the palm pounding yeah this is the palm pounding yeah and then basically it's we circulate through the filter perfect over there and it's perfect little natural pond for them right and we have valve here you can pull that and oh, all wow. the water leave <laughs> oh that's smart that's a good way yeah, and clean it all out that, yep what do we got in here we got these guys from National Zoo. Um, 
Hopefully we find some. Maybe you can look for some. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, it's, uh, are these a golden coin? Yep. I see it over there. I'm going to go grab yep. this thing. I've never seen them this big before, but there's one right here. See them? I got one right here. <laughs> They like to be both in water and land. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. they're pretty big, right? Yeah, these are massive. I've never seen them this big before. That's but really these pretty. Guys were, uh, these guys were on loan from uh, National Zoo. Oh, wow. They're redoing their reptile house. Yeah. And they might call them back. Or maybe not. Just sat here forever. That's awesome. Because really, really pretty. Those are huge. I never knew they got that big. I've never known. Either. That's like a, almost a nine inch turtle. <laughs> exactly. And these are females, obviously. Females are For a larger. second, I thought that was an egg, but it's just a Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you give them everything they need. Yeah. Right? And they and produce. They choose where they want to be. Definitely. That's one of the most important things about keeping animals. You give them different choices and let them make. Yep, and then they'll breed and be happy. Exactly. And uh, I see over here, look at that one underneath the plant right there, Ty. Yep. It's a grand dish, right? Look at that right there. Chilling. I want you to name them. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best. We got Grandis, right? <laughs> Giant Grandis turtles. Yeah, Grandis, yep. All right, who's next? See if we can find really rare ones. All right, let's do it. And I want you to name it. All right, let's do it. Bring your slider. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your slider. <laughs> You're kidding. Oh, there's in the turtle right there. I see him. That's the um, the forest turtle. Yep. I don't know the exact one of it. Forest turtle. It's right here. I can grab him? Of course. Oh, this yeah. is one of the rare turtle on earth. Look Probably at that. top 25 most endangered turtle. Wow. So you need to get another one. Is this a male or female? Yeah. I believe this is a female. Although male, I think. So if anybody has a male, hit up Ty. We need to make more of these guys out there. The tail's short. Yeah. And it, although it has little white tip, it doesn't have large head with white. Uh -huh. Right? So that one's gorgeous. Males tend to have a lot more white on their head. And why are these guys so endangered? They just... Oh, this is highly endangered. But why is that? Because they're eating them or they're just collecting them for pet trade or everything? Well, I don't eat them, obviously. No, yes. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> no, actually, yeah, of course, it's habitat. Is good. Okay, so, habitat, yeah. Yeah, and probably I won't be surprised if the, the habitats are turn, being turned into palm... Palm um, oil. Palm oil. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Right? Yeah. So, Look how slow, coming up for air right there. Look at that. That's neat. That's cool. Yep. So we need to find a male for that one now. Absolutely. I think we said it way, 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 way back then, Ty. But the <laughs> uh, the ultimate tortoise you have to get, you know what that is, right? Wow. Yo, of course. <laughs> the plow straw tortoise. Yep. One day, right? One day. One day. I think that could happen. I think so too. What we got over here? Oh, I have what these. Kind of wood turtle. These are the insta side, inside, inside, inside right. wood turtle. Right. Yeah. Yep. I have a bunch of these guys. And that again, gorgeous. They're all over the place. Oh, I believe it. They're in the water. They're in the ground. But this would be crazy to make my ponds like this. <laughs> All these enclosures are 16 feet by 10. Okay. Okay. Um, and of course, they're all built by a professional pond builder. And uh, it works really well. I mean, obviously, there's still a lot of... Yeah, there's always going to be something. Yeah, you got to weed every week. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Asian box turtle. Right here. Yep. Malaysian box turtle. Yeah, Malaysians. Yep. Look at that. See some deep in the water down there too. Exactly, and uh, we find babies here. All oh yeah, time. I yeah, bet yeah. that's awesome. It's, yeah, and it's perfect because there's no way the babies could get out either. Exactly. There's metal that's not getting out of here. These guys here are cool, cool turtles. What? This one in here? Yep. yep. Then you figure this out. All right, let's see what's in here. I'm cheating. I got all the answers. Yeah. Oh, twist. Oh, twisted yeah, neck. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be hard to find. Oh, we got a mud turtle here. Yeah. I got two pieces. In there. Okay. Mud turtle and. I got the mud turtle right here. Yeah. These are red cheek. The red cheek, right? Yep. yep. Red cheek. You gotta find that twisted. That's oh a cool, my goodness. Cool animal. Twisted's gonna be hard to find. Yeah, that's probably be in the ground. Might be in there. In the water. I only have one. So. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that's awesome. We had this guy for, oh my, probably three years now. Oh wow. Yeah. They're a delicate species. Yeah, they are. They're not. Yeah. They're hard to take I care of. I really want more. Um, they're neat. This is a perfect. You know, they come from the same area, kind of thing. So. Yeah. They work great to, you know, coexist yeah, it. Yeah. Most of the time, these guys, this, I rarely see them in the water. Yeah. yeah, mostly dry. Mm -hmm. I, whenever I go to, like, the jungles and stuff like that, you never yeah. find the turtles. Look, you can't even find them in a 16 by 10 area either. These guys jump too hard to find. Oh, these are Mexican box turtles. They're right here. Exactly. <laughs> There's a whole group of them up here. Yep. Look how crazy they are. One of my favorite box turtles. Look at that, you guys. They're so variable, too. They're all up in here. That's really neat. 
Isn't that a beauty? Ooh. Look at that. That is That's beautiful. Enough. Yeah, this is just natural right here. That's so cool. And they just are thriving. Growing. Yeah. That thing probably doubled since we got them. That's awesome. That's Put them right back in the same spot you found them. Would you like these guys over here? Oh yeah, right here. <laughs> oh yeah, Central American wood turtles. Yeah. yeah, I got so many of these guys. Everybody has oh, these. Yeah, but they are one of the prettiest. They're the prettiest, and nobody wants to have them. Exactly. I love the wood turtles. I think they're the yeah. best. Me too. I have all the wood turtle species. <laughs> you can see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to get every. I probably within a year or so, I probably get every species. Uh, I have. I just. Harder. Yeah, they are harder. Right here, see one? Oh yeah, they're all oh, up on the top. Oh, he's gonna jump in. Yeah. Up That's so cool. Live you saw that? We got live action. Got live action. You got the wood turtle uh, breeding? Oh, yeah. Oh, we, got we got more live action. <laughs> what are these? The North American woods? Yep. Yeah, it is the yeah. North American wood turtle. We North also American. find babies in here all the time. That's awesome. This is a big I enclosure. They have told me that you can't keep them on Florida. Yeah. But They're happy they make it happen. They get acclimated. Yeah, exactly. One of the thing that I done was I deliberately got them from people who had them in Florida for a long time. Okay. These were in Florida for 25 years. All right, what we got these over here? Are some, these are now different type of enclosures. So these are gonna be tortoises now? Yeah, these are tortoises, but also these are the tortoises, they like it really, they like damp area. Okay, so, so very what wet. what I have in this corner is, I created a muddy place for them. So you just flood it out. Yeah, when it's not raining. These are forest tortoises or elongated? These are forest. Forest tortoise. You can see a bunch of them back here. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. These guys get really aggressive too. Yeah, yeah they, they seen do. Them fight. But when you give them room like yeah, this, they're fine. Space, they're, they're good. Fine. Absolutely. So and basically, I created a mud, mud and they love area for them. And they yeah. love it. And, and they love it. And these are actually alone from um, Dallas Zoo. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So. So you do a lot with Dallas Zoo. Yeah, exactly. That's more yeah. turtles. We can go for days, you guys. So we're gonna move on and go somewhere else. So basically, we have one type where we have ponds but mostly land kind of thing yeah and then we have on this side you can see here tons of enclosure enclosed. with shallow water yeah that so these are you love this this is a blending soda oh wow okay this came in with uh legal paperwork from illinois okay all right so basically what you got is water less than eight inches deep gotcha so so I put turtles in here that what I call a, tur a water walkers uh -huh. instead of swimmers. Got you. Like so just enough the so they just walk on the water. Yeah. Makes they sense. don't like, they're not comfortable in deep waters. Yeah. Like some of the mud turtles. The swimmers. Yeah, Makes exactly. Sense. Some of the bark turtles. Like the shallow water turtles. Most bark turtles yeah. love water, yeah. but at the same time, they really don't want to. shallow. Yeah. Cool. And so, and then we have another type. Now these are about two feet deep. Okay. Right? Two feet deep water. Yeah, these yeah. are all two feet deep and all five, the way down. About five feet by eight. How many are? How many are in this row right here? Oh, geez. Not That's how many bad. turtles, but how many rows? Do you remember? A lot. A lot. Probably thirty. Yeah, thirty-two. Sure. I, I was gonna. Like more than two, less than a million. <laughs> and yeah. So on this side, you can see it's also, but it's aquatic, but it's larger. It's Got ten, you. Ten feet by seven. Feet, okay. Right. And then you see back there with this white wall. Yeah. Those are ten by ten. Oh wow! So they're getting bigger. Yeah, so they're they're really aquatic turtle, and wow. the land land is area very small. It's for basically uh, sliders and stuff. That's crazy. Not only is Ted Park an amazing reptile breeder, he also breeds fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Look at all those fish in there. <laughs> all over the place. That's if good though. You need guppies. Come here and you get them for free. Takes yeah. all the mosquitoes away. Ties yeah. the plug on guppies. <laughs> And uh, I have a great plant keeper. Okay. All right. That's great. Uh, her name is Sarai, and she takes care of all our ground. Oh, wow. Including having water lilies and stuff. Oh, wow. Like that. Oh, look, the yellow headed yes. pond turtles. When you feel this, yep. Yeah, those are neat. Those were donated by Tyler Brooks. That's cool. Look at this, you guys. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Oh, wow. The Florida chicken turtle. Chicken turtle, yep. That's really neat. Not a lot of people have those. You know, I, we have, I think, four or five different species or subspecies of painted turtles. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Midland, Western. I think we even just recently got Southern. And we have. Are these guys doing the mating ritual? species of map turtles, except for two. Look when they do the mating. It's funny. With the well, nails? Are they trying to? Yeah. yeah. That's funny. Yeah. So and many they, different types. They all have uh, running water from well. well yeah. Right? And it overflows to that pond, right? Yep. That's cool. Overflow into that big pond over there. So. That's perfect. And in the summertime, we cover this for the people. Yeah, so it's not so hot. Yeah, yeah, but right now it's perfect. Exactly. It's nice out. 
Albino. Oh, look. Albino that's, turtle. That's probably only albino slider that we have. Oh, wow. We're not really into morphs and stuff because, you know, we want to get more natural ones. Makes sense. Yeah. He's coming to say what's up. A lot of guppies. <laughs> lots and lots of guppies. I don't have to do much there. One, two, three different map turtles. These are just one lone male. Okay. So we could keep them together. Makes sense. Right? Uh, some of these are pretty rare to get a pair. And once we get a female, then we'll separate these, them. These are pretty rare, right? The McFurries? Yeah. Oh, I had these guys for literally 10 years. Ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's your favorite reptile here? You have a favorite? Uh, you like them all? Yeah, really. I really do like them all. Reptiles is your thing. Because yeah. if, if it wasn't reptiles, yeah. You're not, you're not like, let's say it's not dogs, so it's reptiles. It's... Well, I, my dad gave me a turtle when I was six. Oh, wow. Ever since then, I've always had something. turtles. So turtles or lizards first? Turtles? Uh, well, <laughs> Both. Yeah. You know, Anything it, reptile. It changes, right? Yeah, it changes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I it does. I started out with turtles, and then I got into lizard. At some point, I even got into big snakes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then, like I, I imported one giant reticulated python yeah and that thing was a killer every Massive. time you get near them yeah like so back back then <laughs> in the 70s 80s you could you do, that, do that yeah right? now now the laws are exactly. pain I in the butt had one rhinoceros iguana imported oh, wow. in right yeah and this i think like early 70s yeah and it was so mean yeah that's when i had the pest store i gave them to send those zoo crazy <laughs> it was, so and good. it was huge yeah i, mean, I never seen one that big since yeah, these are some of the... Oh, these are all equal. Yeah, these are North American uh, uh, indigo. Oh, wow. It came from Kurt Harfschmeyer, who is a attorney. Wildlife attorney. These guys are cool. Yeah, let me see if I can... <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's Tana. Hello, how you doing? Hi, yeah. welcome She's to my one manager. Manager. And she, she know where it probably is. Oh, okay. Oh, she yeah, shows absolutely. people. He's almost certainly. Probably back there, yeah. Right under this piece of work. And there he is. Look at that. Oh, wow. Isn't that great? He's a big guy. Yeah, and this oh, is a perfect angle. Cool. Yeah, many, definitely. Many, yeah, I mean. Look at that. That's awesome. And these guys are, lo they, you can find them here too. Yeah, they're very, very when endangered. When I first got here, I found one by the other house. Wow, that's gorgeous. They get bigger too. Yes, oh, yeah. adult they females can easily reach eight feet. They're the largest non-venomous snake in North America. And they're native right <laughs> here in Florida. That's neat. And you can see here. she's education based. <laughs> yeah. <You're> right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, these are very cool snakes. They're probably my favorite native Florida snake. Their biggest threats are habitat loss and destruction. They yeah. are a large snake that travels a lot. They can be active during the day or at night. Yes. And they'll eat just about anything. They can and will eat other snakes, including venomous snakes. And they're generally considered to be resistant or immune to the venom of the venomous species that live in the same places as them. That's awesome. I believe that's that. Hog Island. Yeah. Yep. And oh, I just realized you can look from the top and from the bottom. That's neat. <laughs> Yeah. yeah these are red tails and of all sorts of stuff and, yeah and they do very well out here oh i bet the florida's the best for everything exactly mexican pine snake just laying out here oh wow themselves. yeah just hanging out yep so awesome. you know we build them naturally and a lot of we and give them plenty of high space yeah so when you come here you're gonna see some empty cages. Yeah. But that's okay because we got 250 species. Exactly. Right? So you're definitely gonna see something. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna see a lot. All right, we're gonna go inside of the parentheses, right? Yep. All right, you ready for this? You do this all the time. This is your, this is your day job, everyday so, job. Uh, I'm pretty new here. I've only been here for a little bit. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> this is Erwin. Erwin is our male parenti. I've known him for about three years now. Just a little. Look at that. A little shy. Yeah. It's gorgeous though. Absolutely. And they get a lot bigger too. Yep, these are the fourth largest monitor species in the world. Largest in Australia. Yeah. These guys reach about nine feet. That thing is crazy looking. The neck pattern is what does it for me. This, yeah. This uh particular pattern. Right. That thing is wild. And then they always have such Watch plain that. <laughs> that tail come back. He will whip you. Yeah, that's why I'm watching that tail. 
That's awesome. You just have one here? We've got two, actually. Oh, you do? Well, lucky enough to have two. That's really neat. Uh, I think he might be done. Yeah, he looks like it. <laughs> That's neat. That's a really, really cool lizard. And obviously, he's eating everything. Yeah, yeah. We give him a pretty varied diet. Uh, rats, yep. mice, quail, everything. chicks. Oh, yeah. He's a happy boy. Heck, yeah. And he can go inside whenever he wants. Yep, that's his heated hide. Uh, inside, it has a separate little box with habitat heaters and whatnot. Yeah. Keeps them nice and warm. Awesome. Uh, but this enclosure is massive. I mean, sometimes people make smaller enclosures, but I mean, this is this is what a monitor should be in. It's a big enclosure. I think this is like a, a 12-foot by yeah, 10-foot. It's, it's freaking tall. Like Maybe 10-foot. I'm not sure. It's a big enclosure. But it's, it's big, big, and it look you can barely see them over there. It's bigger than my bedroom. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, looking to look around. Come here, man. I'm sure they're a little cooler than normal, but at the end of the day, they can just warm right up if they want to. Oh yeah. Go right inside. Oh, here he comes. Right. Look at that. This is some concrete right here. It's a bear. It's a bear pond. He's a little more outgoing. It's neat. That's he a was a, uh, a family pet. Unfortunately, they couldn't keep him any longer. Yeah. And uh, we were lucky enough to take him in. It's a big guy. Look how cool that tail is just for swimming. Yep. Big giant yeah, paddle. Really yeah. Really awesome. So ruddy in the water. I bet. And I'm sure these guys get a little bigger too. A little, yeah, like a yeah. six foot, seven foot? Yeah, about. These guys are the third largest monitor species. Of course, they won't reach 10 feet like the Sri Lankan yeah. water monitors. But I'm smelling seven everything. foot would be... Uh, Attainable, I'm sure. Checking everything out, seeing if anybody got any food. Yeah, thank God I didn't do anything with quail today. If not, he'd have been all over me. No, he knows the difference. He's, yeah. he's smart enough. You know, these They're guys, smart. People think they're dumb. These guys are so intelligent, and I've come to realize that these guys definitely understand the difference between a rat and a hand that smells like a rat. That's good. You know. That's good. Um, yeah, I think. Super cool. He's a good boy. Very alert, too super he's super curious like you can tell you can tell he's got stuff going on inside that head oh yeah look at that face on that thing and is it a pair or you guys don't know no it's a male both it's like both males, males, males so, uh, that thing is gorgeous clouded monitor uh as far as we know she's one of one we've asked her where are these from these guys come from uh malaysia where else do they come from so uh, pretty much just as rare then because if there's only one of one yeah <laughs> yeah yeah she's stunning she is she is a handful though it's oh, the yeah? only one you can't go inside with <laughs> sure, everybody has their own personalities this is uh varanish neutralis our large scaled monitor the bottom's meshing yeah yeah okay yep absolutely yeah it has to be yep because these guys will dig yeah yeah you can see like over in his cage he's they try to get all, some corners the back side he's yeah out, but it's all mesh underneath it's the so, same stuff buried a couple of these are, i think one of my these are really cool the yellow headed that's the coming eyes oh, right yeah. yeah they're real neat we just had a partho egg from her go full term. Unfortunately, it didn't make it out of the egg. But, but that's when there's just no male, right? Yep. That's yep. awesome. It's crazy how they could do that. Yeah. Oh, this wow. Look at these. Albino. Albinos are cool, but it's just, you want to keep them in a natural enclosure and then they just look dirty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at them. <laughs> but it's still really awesome. Yeah. So we've got him paired up with a normal female. So that's neat. Uh, if we're successful, we'll get some head. This is our, our lace. She is uh, another spicy handful. Yeah, she's real spicy. <laughs> but that's a cool lizard, though. Yeah, she's she's gorgeous. She's got that li little hints of blue in her face. Too. Oh yeah, yeah. She's stunning. And are these guys eating every single day, every other day? No. Once uh, a week. Right now in the winter time, they're eating about twice a week small meals. Okay. Uh, and as we get into the hotter months, summertime and whatnot, so speeding it up. They'll they'll be eating four times a week, three three to four. And times I'm sure if you know one's gonna have eggs, you boost it a little more of course yeah course. just so it has more eggs and all that that's yeah. awesome this is her mate right here he's just basking oh yeah he starts to there, breed. He, there he is size doesn't matter guys <laughs> 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 got rico down there on the bottom and then reyna of course these are cyclora recordi the records rock iguana as far as i know there's only about 30 of these in the united states wow. 15 of those were produced by us last year oh wow it's um, awesome from this pair yep yep Yep, she laid 15 perfect eggs. We had 100% hatch rate. And where are these from, exactly? These guys come from Hispaniola, okay. Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Oh, wow. Of all the species and subspecies of Cyclera, 
Recordi and the Rhinoceros Iguana are the only two that live side by side. Oh wow. So they're sympatric. They also naturally hybridize in the wild. It's rare, but it has happened. That's awesome. Really cool. And obviously they're not that big. Yeah, there are smaller foot, cyclera two species. Two, three Defin foot. Yeah, about so. There are smaller cyclera species, but ours I've heard are massive for the species. Our cyclera pinguis, the Anagata rock iguana. This is a critically endangered species. There are only about 550 in the wild. Luckily, wow. their numbers are coming up. Uh, when I first learned about these species, there was only about 300 in the wild. Wow. This is Egg. She was the last penguin to be produced in the United States in, uh, since 2010. She's um, really cool, though. And only one egg hatched, and it was a female, which we desperately need in the U.S. captive population. Out of the 10 in the U.S., only three are breedable females. Wow. One is being her, and then we've got the other two in the back there. Oh, so they're pretty much all here. All, the, all three breeders <laughs> are here with us. Wow. And look, Lewis, again, it's a, it's a coexisting enclosure. You got a pair of brown and <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny. She's great. She's not friendly, though. <laughs> You're like, eh. <laughs> yeah, but that, she's a proven breeder, so that's awesome. Yeah, she's not proven yet. She's oh, okay. That's not the proven one. She, I'd like to think, you know, I, I'd like to think how, how, how beautiful it will be if she ends up being the, the, the lizard to produce the first clutch. Okay. In, you know, yeah. 14 years. That'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, he's a sweetheart when it comes to Adam. That's cool. This, guy's, uh, this one came from Dallas. Oh, wow. That's a really different texture Isn't compared to normal an iguana. I tell people it feels like my, like, like suede. Yeah, it does. Wow. That is so crazy. And of course, the further down, like near his tail, all yeah, the it gets more rougher gets and more stuff. Scale like, but, but this yeah. is the area that's not touching the, gr is, the ground or anything like that. You know, that is crazy. You guys yeah. felt this. This is like, I don't even know what. That is cool, bro. Lewis, check this out. Let's see your reaction on this one. Oh my gosh, it's like a crested gecko. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. This is pretty cool. That's how you can feel different, crested gecko. Yeah, right up there behind his head is the softest spot. Yeah. Oh, dude. That's crazy. For the kids, we're going to say that it feels like a crested gecko. <laughs> That's so cool. That's neat. Look at that blue. Yeah, it's super cool. Pretty. Awesome. Big so guy. this is Aaron. Aaron is a standard Cuban rock, Nubula, Nubula. It's a big boy. One of our best breeders. It's awesome. He's a good boy. Just living life. Yeah. You can definitely see the size difference in him compared to like the Cayman Insis. Yeah. This is an adult Cuban and that Cayman Insis dwarfs him. Yeah. My oh my god. Oh. That's bigger than Babs. That thing is huge. That's like the pit bull of the Rhino Iguana world. I mean, just look at the size of his head. It's yeah, that's massive, insane. man. Yeah, that is so really cool. He's a big boy. He's tolerant. He, he's not gonna. He'll let you know. Look at that thing, bro. Can he be picked up or no? We'll, get well, you saw you yeah. saw me yeah. just pick him up. It's not it's fun. Like he doesn't enjoy it. Look at him, just chilling. Super cool. It's huge. Yeah, he's a big boy. Definitely our biggest by by a good margin. He's and he's perfect too. Yeah, he's. I think he may be missing a toenail. Yeah, <laughs> one toenail. Areas. But other than that, he's like, he's, "What's up? What you looking gorgeous. at?" That's awesome. I love the little horn he has on him. I have, so you, you know, they, they shed off the cap. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. have his cap at home. I do the same thing with my right. Uh, I got a bunch of little cap. When yep. kids come over the house, I give them a little away, caps. Yep. I've got a pile in the barn for kids. Not the nose caps. Those are for me. Yeah. But, <laughs> you don't but get like, You only get three of those a year. Yeah. But like the dorsal spikes and whatnot, yeah. I'll, I'll give those out all the time. You know, I always thought that was kind of hard. Yeah. Same. It's like a freaking bubble. Same. It's a fatty deposit. So these guys, you know, come from an arid place. Food and water can be scarce. So and, uh, cool. It's like a camel hump. Yeah, in, in a way. Super neat. Look at this guy. This is Donkey Kong. Yep. Big old rhino iguana. How old is this guy? He's old, isn't 28. he? 28. He's not that old. 28 These guys old. live to be 50 to 60 years old. So okay. he's, uh, he's right there at the top of the hill, but That's he's still got a good few years left. So what is this again? This is an Egyptian Eurobastix. This is uh, the largest species of Eurobastix. Look at that thing. Look at the tortoise we love to show. Yeah, really cool looking. And it looks like it has that tail, I forget what type it is, the one that curls up into a little ball. 
about the Gordo lizard. Yeah. Lizard. Yeah, the armadillo lizard. Yeah. Yeah, the armadillo lizard. Like, tail looks like that almost. Yeah. Real neat. Cool looking face. He will put that tail to work. He, oh, I he bet. will not hesitate to slap you with it. Make holes right in your mouth. Yeah, that's a, yeah, a step. <laughs> even, even holding on to him, like, he's a small lizard. He's not that big, but he is so strong. Yeah. So strong. That's awesome. I can't imagine trying to pull him out of a cre crevice in the wild. Yeah. Pull yeah. you know, well, an adult me. pissed off at you? No right. way. Dude. That's a fair fight. There's no <laughs> way. Skies of Black Dragon. She came from uh, CJ Gentle of. Uh, oh, okay. Of yeah, I know who he is. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah. Really nice guy. Gave us uh, Sky, I think, two years ago now. Um, yeah, she just ate yesterday, so she's nice and plump today, but she is such a sweetheart. Awesome. She yeah, he has some big lizards. Yeah, he's got like one of the biggest black dragons. Yeah, he does. Picture. Yeah, she's she's fantastic though. Uh, she does amazing with kids. That's perfect. You know? And she's better than Dexter because like you saw how Dexter ran right up to us. Yeah. Sky, she just hangs out. You know? That's probably good for kids too because the ones that run after you probably get exactly. you a little nervous. It's too intimidating. Better for the kids Sky, to walk up to him. Sky will barely look look their direction, you know, awesome. which is great for the nervous kids and, yeah. and even the dogs. These enclosures are really really neat too. Yeah, this is all sculpted concrete. Really wow. cool stuff. Really neat. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, all of this is like rebar with. Uh, yeah, like mortar and stuff, the mesh, concrete, real neat, textured and whatnot, painted. It's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, Ty, I really, really appreciate you always letting me come here to Iguana Land. You Absolute know, I blast. love you guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, Thank, no, a lot. Thanks for your support. No, always, definitely. You know? Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys come here to Iguana Land. Tell Ty that I sent you. So if you come, I want to see how many people <laughs> actually come and see Iguana Land. It's absolutely amazing. You can see every single type of reptile here, and there's more coming every single day. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye, guys.